Well, good morning. Up here at my folks in uh, Tennessee, getting ready for Thanksgiving. The family all be gathering here in a couple days. Uh, I got here a little early. Um, brought the RV with me over there. Um, have a place, to, so I'd have a place to stay and uh, get away from the crowd. Uh, kind of a misty, rainy, cool day here about 50 degrees right now it's supposed to get cooler as the day goes on but hey, it's November and we're doing better than a lot of the rest of the country thought I'd take the opportunity to fill you in on our my travel plans and uh, update you on my prostate surgery this uh, had the nine-month checkup you know uh, let's uh, it's a little we're getting a little wet out here let's head in the RV okay this is a little better a little drier and warmer uh, as I was saying, I, I give you a, like to give you a, an update on my prostate surgery. Uh, it's, it's been nine months since surgery. Just met with Dr. Jimenez on uh, Halloween, October 31st. He gave me the results of my latest PSA test, 0.01. Tickled to death. Delighted. No cancer. That's the lowest, lowest the machine will go. Um, uh, Dr. Jimenez said that we'll do it one more time. Uh, as a three-month cycle at the end of January and if the results are the same we'll go to um, six-month testing for the next two years and then we'll go to annual testing for the next five years and if nothing changes um, I'm done I'm cured uh, it's great news I'm glad I opted for the prostate removal as opposed to the radiation or some of the other treatment treatment options everything's worked out well the uh, incontinence issues taking care of itself few other little side effects but hey uh, for the peace of mind and getting rid of the cancer was well worth it so I, I'm uh, I'm delighted uh, on the travel front uh, we just got off uh, Harmony of the Seas had a good time with uh, Dr. Dean and Valerie and uh, uh, Harry and Diane and, and uh, Donna and Roger as you as you've seen on the video uh, had a good time in February we're uh, scheduled uh, for the Vision of the Seas, one of my favorite ships, out of San Juan on back-to-back -back Southern Caribbean cruises. Um, you know, Dr. Dean and Valerie will be with us again on that one. Um, my brother Keith's coming along. And on the second uh, leg, uh, uh, Mark and Elisa are going to join us. We're going to, let's see where we're going. We're going to... Uh, uh, San Juan, of course, flying in San Juan. And we'll go down to Barbados, Grenada, Rosu, Dominica, uh, St. Martin, and St. Thomas in the Virgin Islands. And then back to San Juan. The second week, we'll go to uh, Tortola, uh, Antigua, uh, Barbados, St. Lucia, and Punta Cana. And then fly home from San Juan. So we'll have a good time. Stay tuned for that one. In May, we're going to be on the Radiance of the Seas for uh, again back-to-back -back cruises um, uh, we leave out of Vancouver Mike and Janet are flying in from England and meet us in Vancouver and uh, take that one with us we'll go um, from Vancouver we'll go to Ketchikan uh, Icy Strait Point Skagway Juneau and then Anchorage and then on, uh, on the second seven seven day cruise we'll come back so we'll fly in and out of Vancouver with Mike and Janet we'll have a good time uh, Bill and Bonnie got a hold of me and said, "Hey, we found this cruise on a vision. I know how much you like the vision, Larry? So, it's uh, a Canadian Snowbird cr cruise. Leaves October 19th out of uh, Quebec, Canada. We we'll go to Charlottetown, Prince I Edward Island, Sydney, Nova Scotia, Halifax, Nova Scotia, St. John, New Brunswick, Portland, Maine, Bar Harbor." Uh, Boston, Port Canaveral, Nassau, and Fort Lauderdale. Fourteen day cruise on, on the vision. It sounds like a great time. Uh, G uh, Jack and Jeannie will be joining us on that one. So uh, we'll, have a, we'll have a good time on that cruise. On the uh, RV traveling front, uh, wanna, looking for somewhere warm to go in January. Uh, might end up at my sister's place. Uh, she has a just built a new house outside of Dallas. I'd like to get down there and see that, and of course see some uh, sites in Texas while we're down there. Um, the uh, Kentucky Bourbon Trail keeps popping up. 
So that sounds that sounds kind of promising. Uh, might might end up venturing up there and uh, around Louisville and then around Lexington, seeing some of the uh, distilleries. Uh, that, of course, you can't have any fun uh, doing whiskey sampling, but but we'll do our best. <laughs> and uh, I'd like to get out to Utah um, in June or September. Uh, really don't want to go in July and August um, for to see if we can beat the crowds and. Uh, uh, Besides, I want to go up to Michigan in uh, July. My brother Steve's place up around Caseville, Steve and Susie, uh, he claims uh, the walleye catching up there is great. Of course, it's always fun catching fish. And I also get to see uh, Sheila and Dennis are around Traverse City and uh, Dick and uh, Lynn and Josh up around Elk Rapids. I get down to see Jeremy's new house, uh, Jeremy April. Uh, James and Luke, uh, Jeremy and April just got a new house in, around New Baltimore. Want to see that? And of course, want to get back around the Cedar Point area. Get uh, James and Luke and uh, on some of the rides down at Cedar Point again. Um, I want to try the uh, Steel Vengeance. Didn't didn't get a chance to uh, ride that the last time, and I'm building up my nerve to try the Dragster uh, like Jeremy did last time. That's that uh, sounds like a sounds like a great great time and, and we're gonna have fun um, so that's about it on the on the traveling front that we've got planned or, or working on so hope you you enjoy the videos hope you you stay tuned and uh, happy traveling we'll see you soon